Hey kiddos, good morning. We're going to be doing 9-2 today. So go get that out and pause the video if you need to go get it. If you already have your paper, I want you to do this on the top of it. I want you to label 20, 19, 18, all the way to 11 on the top row. Okay? So pause the video and label your number chart like this because you're going to need it when we do the back pages. Okay? So pause the video and you can do the numbers right now. <clears throat> All right, so let's read this part. It says, how can you use a number chart to help you find one more than 36? What about one less? 10 more, 10 less than 36. Write the numbers. So I'm going to go down here and I'm going to look at this first. It says one more than 36. 36, one more. 37. I'm going to draw a box around it. It says one less than 36. One less. So one less than 36 is 35. And then it says 10 more than 36. So remember how I used to ask you if we had 10 more, we would go up or would we go down? All right, if we have 10 more, we go down. So our answer is 46. And then 10 less than 36 goes up. So we go up because it's 10 less. Think of it like a boat. You're sitting in the middle. If you had 10 more pounds, you would go down. If you're in the middle and you're just a regular boat and you lose 10 pounds, you would go up. Okay, so remember, you got to keep this page handy because we're going to be needing it for when we do independent work, okay? All right, so let's flip to this page. And let's read what our friend Fred has to say today. A hundreds chart can help you find the number that is one more, one less, 10 more, or 10 less. One more than 47 is 48. One less than 47 is 46. 10 more than 47 is 57. Remember, you're sitting in the middle in your boat and you add 10 pounds, you sink. And then 10 less than 47 is 37, which means if you're a boat and you lose 10 pounds, you would rise. You can use place value blocks to check how the numbers change. If we would like, we could do it this way. So I'll show you how to do both, okay? All right. Right here, 33. I know one more than 33 is 34. Because it comes, three comes after, or three and then four, right? And the front number is two. See, two, three, four, right? Okay. I'm a boat and I gain 10 pounds. I'm going to sink and I'm going to go to a bigger number. I'm going to go to 43. I'm 33 and I lose 10 pounds. My boat loses 10 pounds. I'm going to go up to 23. All right. Okay. Now I'm going to show you how to do a place value block. So 46. I'm going to draw my 46. One. So I have 10, 20, 30. 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46. Okay, I need one more than 46, so I'm going to add another one. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47. All right, I'm going to scribble that one out. And if you're using pencil, just erase it. Now I need one less then 46, I'm going to scribble this one up. I'm going to count again. 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. Okay, so I'm going to scribble all those out because I'm using a pen, so I have to start over. Okay, so I'm going to start over right here. 10, 20, 30, 
40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 5, 46. Okay, now I'm going to gain 10 because my boat needs to sink. So I'm going to count my bigs now, my big columns. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56. All right, now I'm going to scribble that 10 out. And I'm going to go back to the regular 46 because I only added one 10 in there, right? Now if I need to lose 10 to go up. I'm going to scribble out another 10. 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. And just like that, okay? All right, remember I told you that you needed this? You're going to try 3, 4, and 8 by yourselves, and you're going to be able to use this chart to help you, okay? But first, let's do the ones that I didn't circle, and then you guys can go through and complete those, okay? All right. So, one more than 54. Oh, I think I could use my chart for this. Okay, so one more than 54, 54, it's 55. One less than 54, 54, oh, 53. I need 10 more than 54. Oh, but I don't have anything underneath here to sink to. But I know that looking at this chart that it's going to be 60. So I'm going to keep counting on here. So I'm going to go 61, 62, 63. 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70. Okay, so I got 10 more than 54. 10 more, I need a sink. I'm too heavy. 64. I'm at 54 and I have to lose 10. I'm going to float up. Now it's 44. Like that, okay? All right, now these two, I can't use this one for it, but if you need the map, what you can do is you can draw your number placements, right? Remember I showed you guys a little while ago how to use your numbers? So I'm going to do it like this, okay? So I need to draw 78. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, and I'm drawing seven because there's seven in my 10 spot, right? And there's eight ones. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. One more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 79. I'm going to erase that extra. All right, now it wants to know one less, so I'm going to take it away another one. I'm going to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I'm going to count my ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So one less than 78 is 77. Now I'm going to draw it again for the tens. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, ten more. And I gotta add ten more, so that's a column. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So ten more is eighty-eight. Ten less. So I got to take that 10 I added because I have to make it 78 again. So I'm going to check to see that I just have seven columns. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, now I need to add 10, or I need to take away 10. So I'm going to take away 10. And I'm going to count one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Like that, okay? All right, let's try number. Seven. I have 82. I'm going to draw a box around this one so we know not to use that one, okay? 
Okay, so 82. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 2. So 1 more than 82, I'm going to add another one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3. I'm going to take away the extra one I added, and I'm going to make it 82 again. Now it says I need to take away one, one less take away. So I'm going to take away another one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 1. All right, now let's do 10 more. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 81, 82. Okay. Ten more. I gotta add a brick in or a column. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two. All right. I gotta make it eighty-two again, so I gotta take away that column I added. Let me make sure I have eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. I have eight. Now it says ten less. I gotta take away ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two. So 10 less than 82 is 72. All right, I want you guys to pause the video and I want you guys to do three, four, eight by yourselves. We're not gonna do nine today, so cross out nine, okay? All right, so pause the video so you can try. All right, let's do number three. Number three is a number 37. So I'm gonna look for 37, and I'm gonna go one more, 38. One less than 37? Oh good, they had it circled for us already. That's 36. All right, 37, I need 10 more. I'm gonna sink. 47. I got 37. And I need 10 less, so I'm going to rise. I'm going to lose 10 pounds on my boat. 27. All right. Now we got to find the number 22. All right. 22 plus 1. One more is 23. 22, one less. 21. 22, add 10 more pounds, 10 more, I sink. I go to 32. I got 22 and I have 10 less. I gotta lose 10. I go up, I go to 12. There's that one. All right, now let's try number eight. Okay. One more than 16, 17. 16, one less, 15. 10 more, I sink, remember? It's 26. 10 less, I rise. And if, if you knew that that was six right away, good job. If you needed to count it out, that's okay, all right? So what I would have done, I would have wrote 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. You could have done it like that so that you knew that 6 was above. And if you already knew it by yourself, then that's fine. So check your answers and see if you got those right, okay, kiddos? And if you did, kiss your brain. I'll see you later, okay? Have a good day.